our actions and our behaviours are our morals shown in conduct. Everything we say, everything we do sends loud and clear messages to the world about who we are and what we represent. People get your truth. And that's, that's what Intentionomics is about. It's about the economics of your intentions. David's recognised as a leading expert on ethical selling, leadership and communication. Academically, David is a behavioural scientist with degrees in business and psychology of adult learning. He has an MBA, a master's degree in professional ethics and a master of science degree in applied positive psychology. We need to be focusing on how we build intentional trust relationships because that's what connects with our clients, that's what connects with our colleagues, that what, that's what connects with our teams, that trust really matters. So whenever we talk about leadership, we've got to talk about character, ethics and values. One of my degrees is a master's degree in professional ethics, but my thesis in that was how do we align ethical behaviour in business with the psychology of buying? How do we sell well? How do we create the right kind of process? And I want to share some of that with you today. For the last 30 years, I've been a professional conference keynote speaker and masterclass presenter. I've been speaking with leaders and teams, sales teams, customer service teams. The focus is always on how do the relationships that we create impact our success? This question, it's a really important, what's, what's this buying experience going to be like? That's the psychology that starts the whole buying journey. And so every moment of truth, every moment of point of contact along that buyer's journey, before and when and after they get into your store, this question is constantly going on. My favourite quote is from Aristotle, and he says this, our actions and our behaviours are our morals shown in conduct. Well, of course, we need to talk about character, ethics and values, because these are the things that guide us in our behaviour. It's how do we stay engaged in our role, uh, whether we're the leader or whether we're an employee. How do we stay engaged? Because that really has a lot to do with who we are uh, and what we bring to the workplace. So the key question is, how do we make this stick? How do we take what's been hopefully inspirational content that people can put into action? And you, me, all of us have the opportunity today to refocus on what really matters, and that is relationships, trust. <laughs>